Hey, it's Paul Coachot here with Birdtail. So I just want to give you a quick update. Um, just pretty much let you know what's going on in Canada with COVID. And I got some pretty big news. Um, but first off, where am I at? I'm in like the best coyote line there is. A super old, you know, building. You know, this is probably early 1900s. But uh, basically where I'm at, it's, I'm in a bluff. And it's it's there's a cattle, you know, whatever cattle yard in it. And it's it's calving season. So the coyotes, they basically, they kind of hone in on, in calving season on these uh, on these cattle yards, just because when the calf drops, it's it's a race to the calf. So I'm trying to call my way through this bush. So basically you just, you start on the leeward side and then you just kind of work your way through it kind of thing. And there will be a coyote or two in here just because there's probably a hundred head of cattle in here. But uh, if my timing's right and they don't see me, and I may get one, if not, well, till next time. But uh, we had a hell of a storm last night. So the snow is deep in the spots. It's probably eight foot. You know, we had 50 mile an hour winds and eight inches of snow. And kind of what happens here in the, you know, in, in the prairies is it blows off the field. So you can almost see stubble year round. But what happens, it all collects in the bush and then in the ravines and potholes and whatnot. So that's, that's where it all goes. So hunting coyotes, you know, it, on foot you know with one of these and calling it it gets difficult but whatever you just kind of pick your way through but so that's that's kind of what i'm up to um i guess for as far as an update for covid you know up here in canada it, you know i mean it, it's probably similar to what it is down in the us this omicron thing's kind of going throughout the whole population and the pcr testing is is not the go-to test really anymore to, to identify whether you have it or not. It's all these rapid tests. You can get them anywhere, you know, and just basically shove it up your nose and whatever. If you're positive, you stay home for five days and, or until symptoms are gone and you go back to work. Kids are at school. Um, yeah, it's, it's sports are on. Like it's, it's kind of, it's good the way it's going. It's kind of running through our population and just, we're, I think our government's just trying to manage, I guess, the stress on our healthcare system. That's already maxed to begin with. But uh, anyways, that's what's kind of really going on. It's nothing, nothing too dramatic. Um, you know, I guess my biggest wish for the, for this coming fall is that we don't have to PCR test crossing the border. Um, and if we have to, then we will do the exact same thing we did last fall which was nobody flies into Canada, fly into the border town kind of thing, and then we'll, we'll drive you across. Um, and that, it, it worked out really well last year. Um, that was our ticket to success. Um, and then for people, you know, coming from other provinces, uh, fly into Winnipeg and we'll, no, we'll get you from there. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of really about it. It's, it's kind of, I think it's just running the course through our population. It's less severe, so there's kind of, I don't know, less restrictions, not like last year. So I, we're definitely, I would say, on, on the, a better side of things right now. Um, but we got nine months to go, so hopefully the PCR test to come, come into Canada, hopefully that's gone. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of it with that. And for my big news, um, it, it is, it's, that's big news. Um, we have decided to change what we're running for our decoys and uh we're going to go with some dave smith decoys actually the whole lot is going to be dave smith in every trailer for our canada's and our snows so we've gone with the giant series and the honker series like a combination of that and our snows are juvenile snow and then uh, uh well and the blues so that's kind of that's our that's my big news. Um, if you haven't heard Dave Smith, definitely look them up. They are like the Ferrari of Ferraris. They're ultra realistic. Like the detail is ridiculous. The paint is amazing. And they 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 last the test of time kind of thing. We started going with DOA probably when they first came out um, about probably like eight years ago. They we were, got like, I think it's four dozen kind of as a test. And, and then I still got them, they look amazing. But this last batch I got, um, they just, they, sh they shined up right away. The paint turned kind of like uh, this orangey yellow and they're still bulletproof. Like they're a really nice looking decoy, but um, they, I think they changed something in them, obviously, because they, they did not hold up. They just look like mirrors. So we got to get rid of them. So I just bought all these Dave Smiths. Um, <laughs> I think my, I think they cost more than I made in the first five years of running this business, but I, I'm 
really happy we made this decision. It just makes sense for our style of hunting. We don't put out a lot of decoys. We really use the geography for, for you know, our hides and whatnot. And um, what I think what happens is when you don't run a high volume in the field, I think the birds really, they focus on, on the decoys that are, are out there. So us switching to like a super high quality decoy, I think is really going to help our success. So I, I really, I thank the guides, um, you know, totally for suggesting this and then, um, kind of working through like, all, like there's all these different series and poses and whatnot. So they kind of made up a formula of, of what each trailer uh, will have in it. And I, I tell you, it's going to look unreal. Their D Smith is a little different just because they have so many different poses. So your spread won't look like three poses or four poses. They have so many. So we kind of mixed and matched them kind of thing. So they're going to look unreal. So we're going to be hunting over Dave Smith. That is a, that is a big deal. I don't know anyone who does that in Manitoba for sure, but, uh, yeah, I'm super pumped on it. Um, so that's, that's kind of my big news. Um, I guess for 2022, uh, we have some openings in, um, our early Canadian season. And I think we have an opening at, uh, in our late season for, you know, for, for graders and then the big mass swarms of, uh, of mallards. Other than that, we're booked up for 2022. If you are thinking of coming, probably should start the conversation now. Um, we usually book a, you know, a year to two years in advance. So if you're thinking 23, definitely we should talk or 24 and beyond kind of thing. Um, but anyways, I just want to say thanks again for everyone who came last year as a pinnacle year. Um, we got through it and we did really well. And it's thanks to you guys for uh, kind of persevering all the levels of whatever factors we had to get, get through to get, get you up here. And uh, last fall, we had a lot of fun. Hunting was really good. Um, so anyways, with all the snow, I think we're going to have a good spring. Hopefully we'll get a, a, a few birds back that uh, we did la last year because it was dry. But uh, hopefully our numbers go up a little bit because they are dropping. Duck numbers are dropping. But anyways, we're getting some moisture, which is good. And Saskatchewan's getting it too as well in Alberta. So hopefully up here, we're going to produce some birds for next year. Anyways, I gotta, uh, I'm going to get mose moseying. Um, the sun is going down. It's usually when they come in. Anyways, um, thanks again. And uh, that's my update. Hope you're all doing well.